Welcome, my peeps, my peoples. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It would be greatly appreciated from the bottom of my heart, my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, baby. We're going to bring others with us. So let's get it popping. Let's get it cracking. Like, and let's talk about basketball wife CC Gutierrez and none other than Christian Scott. Oop, should I say Christian Scott? Because she is not really a Scott. I was like, OMG, it's going down. CC came back with a plan. OG came back with a plan. Plan. They plan to bring down Christian and take her down and get her back for what they feel like Christian did to them last season. And they exposed Christian's secret because she was living all high and mighty on top of that mountain. And basically, OG and CC hooked up together and basically they told Christian's secret. Because if you remember last season, Christian said to Cece, you're not married yet. You're not engaged yet. You're not a Scott yet. So you need to stop. You need to start acting like a Scott or you won't be one. And basically it's a privilege to be a Scott. And then on top of that, now it's exposed that Christian is not really a biological Scott because her husband, Thomas, is not actually Byron's biological son. Byron did raise Thomas, but that's not his biological son. So, therefore, oh, Lord have mercy. So, that means Cece is going to be closer to a Scott because she's going to marry a Scott than, you know, Cece being close to a Scott because, actually, Thomas is not really a Scott. So, it's like, OMG, it's going down, Christian. They done got you back. They done threw some shots at you. They done, how are you going to regroup and get through this? I was like, OMG, OG came through and was like, Christian, you talked about me. You went to my party. You act a fool, even though that was last year. And basically, OG is still upset the way that Christian confronted her and said that she's not married. She don't got a husband. She don't got kids. And Blase a third and she's desperate and look at her on the computer with her boyfriend basically throwing shots at OG. OG had a little bit to throw back but you know Christian at the time she was in the end crowd and she is in the end crowd when it comes to being the basketball wife's in crowd on the show which is Shawnee which is Jennifer but not Jennifer anymore she's been axed out for a minute you know she'll be back in the picture she'll be back in the fold but you know Evelyn too as well I was like OMG OG came through and basically exposed the secret and Cece was like it is not a family secret it's not like she exposed something that nobody didn't know about Cece was like everybody know about it everybody knows about it I don't think it's I don't think it's exposing anything and Cece didn't have no words for OG she didn't stop her she didn't she didn't miss a beat she didn't miss a beat at all she didn't cry she had no tears she was just sitting Sitting there with a numb face on like, mm-hmm, that's what you get, Christian. And I'm doing what Byron wants me to do because Byron gave them permission to say what they had to say on the show. I know they're like, oh, Malaysia was shocked. Malaysia confronted, you know, CC. CC was like, it ain't a secret. And Malaysia keeps saying, they are Scots. They are Scots. Just she is a Scot. Thomas is a Scot. Malaysia didn't know what to do. She was shocked, but she knew something was brewing. Something was coming up. OMG and OG just came through and was just like, listen, Cece, you can't be fake and phony no more. These people don't hurt you. Christian don't hurt you. She done did this. She done did that to you. She done did this to me too as well. And so basically, you know, OG was like, I'm going to tell it. I'm going to expose it because this girl acts like she's too good. She's too perfect and she's better than everybody. And she's thumbing her nose down on people and thinking that she's all that and she betrayed you. So therefore, let me expose her and let her f let her drop back down to reality. And that's what happened. I was like, OMG, all she said that she borrows clothes and wear clothes. And now you got two episodes of CC actually wearing the same outfit as, you know, um, Shawnee. And then now she has the same outfit as Jackie. It makes it put some truth in the situation. It makes it seem like, okay, either she's shopping beyond her means and or she's going to be returning them clothes that she got on that she's filming for the episode. But sometimes you got to fake it until you make it. And Cece's trying to get into in crowd. She's trying to be close to the ladies. She's trying to be close to Shawna. She's trying to be close to Jennifer. She's trying to be close to Evelyn because she believes they can help her out in her situation. Maybe they can open some doors for her. She's already on the show. And she got a little bit of a brand. But, oh boy, wasn't she knocked 
down to reality today. They hit her with the okie doke. I was like, OMG. Christian was upset. She was mad. She was trying to come after OG. And then once she found out Cece done spilled the beans, she wanted to get at Cece. Malaysia tried to stop her. I was like, OMG. I'm talking about that karma and that get back is real. Kristen, you never go toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody that knows all your business, that know your secrets, that you borrow clothes from, you borrow shoes from, you borrow necklaces, dresses, jewelry, everything from Cece and basically get on the show and don't have her back when she's basically making you look good. And do you guys remember last season when Cece said Byron does not want to go out with Thomas and Christian anymore because Cece always got to get the bill or he always got to get the bill. They never pay for anything. So basically they are exposing them as being, you know, living the fake life. The okie doke. So how was Christian going to hire a nanny? You know, last season she was interviewing a nanny. How was she going to hire a nanny? Like, if she's bar if she's out here borrowing clothes and stuff like that, and they're not paying for their meals when they go to dinner with their, you know, parents. Or when they go to dinner with Byron and Cece. Like, what's going on? And OG, OG should mind her business, but Cece put her in the business and also... OG is enemies when it comes to Christian. So therefore, she got that information and she exposed her. And she was going to expose Christian's business anyway because she got beef with Christian. And OG done told, I mean, CC done told OG the information. And, and CC knew by telling OG that it was going to get back to everybody. Just like, um... CC knew telling OG that, you know, um, Christian was not invited to the wedding due to Byron not wanting Christian there at the wedding. She told OG, OG exposed it. So basically, they're playing off each other. It's crazy. It's going to be on and popping on this show. CC and OG came to win. They came to win this season. They took some L's last season. They felt like they were disrespected. But now they are back in the running. But right now, Shawnee and Evelyn and, you know, um, Malaysia are not happy with CC or OG. So basically, they're going to shun them. And when they come around, they're going to treat them like dirt. But, you know, OG and CC was like, you, go, you guys already been treating us like dirt. So what is new? So basically, we're going to expose, expose, expose. What is CC going to do now? How is she going to be around Christian? Because Christian is not going to forgive CC because this was public embarrassment for her because she didn't want nobody to know. And basically, it was nobody's business whether Byron is actually the biological father of Thomas or not. It was nobody's business. It wasn't CC's business to tell OG when OG and CC, when OG and Christian. Or enemies. So what do you guys think about the situation? Do you think OG was wrong? Are you guys mad at OG? Or do you think Kristen got her get back? And do you think CC is happy with everything that is coming to pass? It seems like she's happy because she didn't miss a beat. She was sitting there like, you know what? It ain't a secret. Mm -mm -mm. Peace. I'm out. Much love to all my peeps and my peoples.